Hey guys, Ryan here from Indie Wrestling School. And what's the one thing I wish somebody would have told me when I first started booking shows? Coming up. Hey guys, Ryan here. Thanks for checking out this video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing below. We put out new videos every single Thursday. Now listen, I've been fortunate enough to run professional wrestling shows for the last 12 years. And there's a lot of things I've picked up along the way and some of them might help you out. Some of them you might think are ridiculous. But the one thing I wish somebody would have told me right from the beginning, and it might not even be apparent right on the surface and it might not make a lot of sense to anybody out there, film everything even if you don't think you'll use it. And I'm not talking about just promos and vignettes. Yeah, those are important. And yeah, obviously the matches are important. Film the setup of the ring. Film stuff in the locker room. And look, obviously you're not gonna use that on your, whether you have a weekly show or, or whether you have online shows or anything streaming, you're never gonna use that stuff. But everybody in wrestling has a finite number of years. You're only involved in this for a certain number of years. And if you're like myself, there'll be periods where you take time off. And those periods could be months, they could be years, it could be forever. You never know when your last show is going to be. And you'll always want those memories, the little anecdotes, the little funny stories to have and remember forever. I can tell you over the years, I've hired num a number of photographers for ringside pictures. And I've had a bunch of guys do a great job and a bunch of girls do a great job taking pictures of the in-ring action. And that stuff is great. Occasionally I would take a, a cell phone picture in the locker room or somebody else would take it and send it to me. As the years have gone on, I don't look at the pictures from in the ring. I mean, they're great to have and they're a great promotional tool. But more and more every year, I find myself looking at the pictures in the locker room, the little moments. I have pictures of myself getting advice from Shane Douglas or going over a show with Steve Carino, people that I grew up idolizing. Somebody just took the picture and I didn't know. And those things are so important to me. And they're some of my favorite pictures and there's no action going on. They're not exciting to anybody else other than myself. I think I'm guilty of what a lot of wrestlers are and that's you don't want to take pictures of people you're a fan of because you don't want to seem like a mark even though we're, we're, we're all marks right so if I can impart one piece of advice to anybody out there whether you're a wrestler a promoter a referee anybody working in pro wrestling take pictures of everything you'll never regret having too many pictures but when it's all said and done and that day comes for each and every one of us it's possible you'll look back and wish you had an image of a certain show or a certain night because you never know the show that might change your career. That's all for this week. If you like this video, beat the shit out of the like button and I'll see you next week for Three Minute Thursday.